today's topic for the book, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, is about conflicts. So there's many conflicts that happen in the book. And one of them that I would like to talk about is man versus society. So in the book, you can see how the patients in the hospital fight against society because a lot of the patients in the hospital don't fit into society norm. And one example could be McMurphy and Chief. Although they don't have exactly mental illness, they are in there for certain reasons. And one of the main reasons why they're in there in the hospital would be because they don't fit into society. So society has a picture of how they want people to be. So if you don't act like everybody else, they assume something's wrong. So they want everybody to be the same. They don't want nobody to be different. And they expect everybody to speak, act, and look a certain way. So, that is, and another example can be men versus self. Because a lot of the patients in there do fight about themselves because they see the struggles they have and they're not happy being in the hospital. So it's a struggle for them because they're somewhere where they can't have fun, where they can't be happy, and they have no love in there. They don't have somebody that cares about them. And I don't think you'd be man versus machines. So in the book, a lot of the times, big nurse and the workers to use machines to punish the patients. One can be shock therapy, the disturb, shave, like there's different types. But what they do with the machines is they put the patients there. So rather if the patient does good or bad, they still put them in there. They don't deal with them at all. So they decide that putting them in the machines makes everything better. One of the other conflicts is that McMurphy stands up to Big Nurse knowing the bad things that can happen to him, but towards the end he doesn't care because he wants to have more power over her. Not only that, but he's just tired of the way how they are treated in the hospital. Big Nurse doesn't even respect her own co-workers. If you've seen the book, you would also see how the black boys in the book turn more fearful towards her because she also screams at them so she doesn't even treat them and a lot of the characters feel like there's no hope there's no reason to keep living but having McMurphy they feel like anything is possible and that there's still a reason why they should McMurphy is basically their god. So when they have no strength, when they feel down, or when they feel bored, they go to him to their problems. He defends them, even if they're right or wrong. Even when Big Nurse tries to hurt them, he goes as fast as he can and tries their best to defend the patients because he cares about them. Another conflict that we start to see is that big nurse, she starts acting different. So she is still kind of mean, but not so much as before because she's thinking if she should put Big Murphy into the stir, but the reason why she doesn't put him in the stir is because she's going to give him the satisfaction that he's getting to her, that she, he is getting her mad. And he's, she doesn't want him to think that he's going to get the power, that he's getting her mad, that he's getting to her. So she's trying to be strong. She's not trying to see her show her weak side towards others.
and so that's why she acts different with Meg Murphy. So. Plus, she questions if she should put him in the start. Those are the main important conflicts in the book.